if you are in an adulterous marriage, uh, you are in adultery. Adultery is an iniquity. Uh, Malachi says that uh, you deal treacherously with the wife of your youth and it covers your garment with violence. Um, uh, Proverbs uh, talks about, uh, in chapter 5, talks about the perils of iniquity um, that, that bind you like a cord. They catch you, they, they catch you like a cord, or the, the cords of iniquity. And, and so the best thing you can do is get out of that iniquity. The best thing you can do for your children is get out of that iniquity. Because we know in uh, Exodus 20 that Moses says that the uh, iniquities of the fathers are passed on to the third and fourth generation. The best thing you can do for your children is to not pass on an, an iniquity, to, iniquity to them. Uh, adultery is, is, uh, uh, is uh, the Apostle Paul says that adulterers do not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, your children will understand. You tell them this is, our, this is our situation. This is what we had to do to obey God. And, and they, will, they will respect that and they will, they, they will uh, understand that and they, it, will, it will preserve their soul. It will preserve their spiritual life. Uh, and you will, you will stop that iniquity, that curse from going on to them and to the next, to the next generation. You stop it right there so they don't have to deal with it. And believe me, that will be a powerful influence on them. That will be a powerful message on them that when they marry that it's for life because if they divorce and remarry that it doesn't stand, it doesn't hold before God and that it would be a sin that they would have to repent of and that you, you demonstrated that. It's the best thing that you could do for your kids. Your kids uh, will be sanctified uh, through, your, through your obedience to God.